Shalom, family. All is team to Yahuwah on this beloved feast of matzah, feast of unleavened bread. All is team to Yahuwah. Just out of obedience to the Ruach, um, quick word um, on today that um, obviously we got, you know, Bish Pocket in town, keeping the feast, right? Had an excellent paid sock. Um, we're in the middle of unleavened bread, and it's, it's been nothing but a Baruch, been able to build, worship, pray, and just um, spend time with family, right? That's what, that's what it's about, receiving the true manna from the Shamaim, which we know is Yahusha, and um, us being fed with that life from, from Yahuwah, which is his word. Um, so it's definitely been a visitation every single day. Um, all the steam to Yahuwah for that. Um, I want to be obedient and specifically talk about the subject of Hasatan being an adversary, right? So contrary to popular belief, a lot of people believe that the devil is like equal to Yah in the sense of like he's 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 his nemesis, right? And that couldn't be further from the truth. Really, Halel, right? That's his Hebrew name, Halel, meaning going back to light bearer. We talked about that before, the counterfeit light. Light bearer, one who, you know, he was created to bear the light of Yahuwah, right? But out of resistance in his heart and the rebellion that was within his heart, he turned away from Yah, right? And influenced other Malachim and the Shamaim to follow him into unrighteousness. So, again, his name being Hillel, that ultimately shows the Ruach that he embodied in in. in, in having a sense of light but it being counterfeit which is why so many people are deceived by him right you're deceived by thinking something is righteous and then ultimately finding out that that thing you thought was righteous is really unrighteous and oftentimes it'd be too late unless the the ruach kakodesh spares you and gives you wisdom to come out of whatever you're on so saying all this to say what you have to do is or what we have to do i'll say is we have to look at Hasatan's name or his his title Hebraically, right? That'll give us, hey, how you doing? That'll give us Ruachal understanding of really what 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 it means, who the who the devil is and what his job is, right? So again, he's not a nemesis of Yah, he's not an equal to Yah, he's not an he's not an opponent of Yah in that sense. He's an opponent to us, right? Man, you who is creation. So when you look at his name Hebraically, Samic Tet Nun, right? Samic Thorn Seed, Tet, Snake Basket, Surround, Nun, right? Seed, Fish, Life, Continuation of the Blood, right? When you put these things together, you get Resist, right? Adversary, Oppo one who opposes. So looking at the two parent Hebraic letter root, it really goes back right to tet i'm sorry to uh samic tet right and it really is the idea of resisting opposing turning right turning turning over or, or going against so it's the idea of rebellion and what he does in the realm of the ruach is he plants and then here goes here's where the noon comes in he plants seeds of unrighteousness Seeds that are completely contrary to what the Ruach has spoken to man, right? So let's go back to the beginning. Let's go back to the garden, right? Adam and Chua. Hasatan's interaction <laughs> with Chua was, has Yah surely said that you will, will die, or has Yah said that you will surely die if you eat of the fruit of the tree in the garden? Obviously referring to the, the tree of knowledge of good and evil. So what he was doing was he was he was planting a seed of doubt in her mind that Yah said something contrary than what Yah actually said. And it's the same way on the ancient path. Somebody receive a word of truth, and here come Hasatan, utilizing their own carnal reasoning to plant seeds of doubt within their mind. Has Yah really said that I should uh that I should stop, you know? Watching these YouTube videos that I've been doing that's, that's, That he said was leading me astray You know Has y'all surely said That I should um, I don't know Stop speaking for a week Because I deal with pride And I deal with always wanting to have to say something Has y'all truly said that or, or am I good still saying these things Has y'all truly said Right 
I should stop, you know, speaking hastily or, you know, again, just using these as examples. But again, these are these are elevated commands that Yah gives through the Ruach when he tells you to do specific things. Now, yeah, the blatant things in Torah, it's 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 kind of easier to understand. You know, Yah said don't murder. OK, cool. But wait a minute. What about the slandering? What about Ruachily murdering by somebody by speaking untrue things about their character? Right. These are things that, again, Hasatan comes in to use the, the reasoning of man's logic against him. And it goes back to a turning. So what you got to understand is that the only power that Hasatan has is the power that Yahuwah allows him to have to test you. To see, are you going to obey his word or not? Same thing happened to, to, to Yahushua in the wilderness, right? When he was led to take that 40-day fast in the wilderness, right? Led of the Ruach, by the way. And what were all the questions? All the questions were, okay, you know, take these stones and, and, and you know, if you be the son of Elohim, take these stones and, 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 and command them into, make them into bread. It's like, no, I'm on a, Yahuwah didn't tell me to do that. So again, it's, it's still the planting of thoughts. And what did Yahushua combat him with? The word of Yah. So I'm saying all these things to, 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 to just encourage you, family, that at the end of the day, Hasatan is only a hindrance, right? He's only there to plant thoughts that ultimately you should be able to combat by, by being firm in the word of truth that Yahuwah has revealed to you through the Ruach HaKodesh. Hallelujah. He's only a hindrance. He can't, you know, he, yeah, I mean, yeah, he does come to st kill, steal, and destroy. How? By planting thoughts. Satan. By turning you. By making you rebel against what Yah has said. And then once he does that, oh, now you're subject to him. Now that, that's when you're held captive by him according to his will, right? Unless Yahuwah give you an opportunity of repentance. And that's what the Basura is. You hearing the Basura, you hearing the word of truth literally is an opportunity for you to repent and turn unto Yah. When you have been in a pattern of making decisions and doing things, receiving thoughts, being led of thoughts that were against Yah, which is why we do what? We cast down every imagination and every high thing that exalts itself against the knowledge of Yah. Again, going back to Hasatan's name or his his title, right? As an adversary or a hinderer, hinderer, one who resists Yah. So what do we have to do? Resist those thoughts. Resist anything that comes against what Yah has already proven and spoken to you to be of a truth, Zion. So again, I just wanted to bring some insight on that. This is definitely something that had been in my ruach. But I mean, again, that's it's rebellion. That's all it is. It's rebellion. That's who he is. He's the king of rebellion. Which is why even when you look up the name Nimrod, his name, going back to the Hebrew word Marad, Mem, Resh, Dalit, goes back to, to bitterness. Rebellion. Turning. Same idea. What did Nimrod want to do? Turn everybody against Yah. Right? That's why they wanted to build a tower. Yeah, we're going to reach the Shamaim without Yahuwah. Man, that's rebellion. Right? That's what the tree of knowledge of good and evil really is. You obtaining knowledge of Yahuwah without Yahuwah. It's demonic. And again, it all goes back to the same heart that was in Ahasatan to get his own esteem. Right? By, lift, by the lifting up of himself. Why? Because he had already at that point turned against Yah. So again, just food for thought as we partake in this feast of unleavened bread, as we're supping with Yah, as we're eating of the manna, as we're eating of the, the, the matzah, right? The bread without leaven to be filled with Yahuwah's teaching, the Ruach HaKodesh, right? The blood and the body of Yahushua HaMashiach. All the things to Yahuwah. Love each and every one of you. And I pray that on this feast of matzah, you continue to sup with Yah. That you continue to eat of his living bread. That he build you up in the things that are, he fill you up in the things that are Ruach. So that you're filled, right, with him. So that when those thoughts do come, because they're going to come, right, you're able to cast them down with Yahuwah's word. Much of and shalom.